All right, it's early morning. I'm inside Copenhagen. Let's fire up the drone and get some 360 panoramas. I keep talking about the Mini 3 being a very ideal drone for urban area photography and videography. So I better show you that it's actually possible uh, in the, instead of just flying outside the city. So we are at Fredericksburg here. And uh, I thought it would be a very, very nice chance for me to show you. Maybe we can just do a small panel here. This is normally not what I prefer to do. But you can see this is uh, Fredericksburg. I'm just parked on a public road. I'm not over any houses or anything. I'm just over the road, directly on top of the car. Let me just show you some of the panorama features that are available in the drone here. And I go under panorama. And as you can see here, there are several things that we can do. We can do like a spherical panorama, where it's like a 360 one. We could do 180, where it takes a row of pictures next to each other. We have uh, the same one in the vertical format, where it does three pictures up and down. It, we might not need that as much now as we did in the past because uh, we now have the option that we can actually tilt the camera and, and use that to our advantage in photography. And the, the advantage here is, of course, uh, the three images that are being merged. If something moves across two of the images, you'll be able to see it. Whereas if it's taken native, um, there will be no issues. The final one that we have here is the white one. I really love that one. We can just do one here while I'm talking. It's actually doing nine individual photos and then they're stitching them together to one single photo. That will give you a lot of picture real estate. No doubt about that. But again, if something moves on these nine frames while it takes it, you'll be able to see it on the final result. So now it's just stitching them here. So you can see, this is the final stitched image. Looks pretty good, yeah? So uh, let's do a 360 panorama now. So I just uh, take the sphere, here, then I will start the drone and I will ask it to do what we need it to do. <laughs> Ooh, nice top down. It takes a while to complete this process. And you know, the reason why this is such a big advantage to have um, the Mini 3 is that you get all these super features packed into a sub 250 gram drone. So I can go in here inside the city urban area and then I can fly the drone without any prior permission. That opens up for a lot of possibilities. So now it stitches the image and I'm not even sure that we can see it here in the final format, but let's just try it. So here's the spherical image. Yeah, yeah, we can. Woohoo. So, so now I can zoom it in and I can zoom out. And I can see everything that the drone just captured. How beautiful is that? This is only a low res preview that you see here on the phone, but that gives you a pretty good idea what we are talking about here. So look at that resolution. And look at those colors. This is really, really nice. Very nice feature. And uh, with the wide image here, let me just take one with normal photo mode here, single photo, like this, and we're using the corner of the building there. And then let's just do one wide here where we use the same center of the image so you can see how much more screen real estate that you are actually getting. So, so now it's doing its thing, taking the nine images. If we put the white image next to the single photo, you can see how much more screen real estate that you're getting or photo real estate that you're getting. I will post the images that I have recorded here in the TechDraw Media website so you can download them and sneak peek them at your own convenience. Right now I'm working on finalizing my two weeks Mini 3 Pro review. And in case it's already published or when it will be published, you will be able to access it through this card. It's so nice that you have all these dedicated buttons. So look at this. I can just do this when I want to make a nice top down. Now the train is riding here. Ooh. Let's get some footage of that. It's always nice. 
So this is the panorama feature of the Mini 3 Pro. It's not that much different than what we are used to, but what do you think about the image quality produced by the new camera of the Mini 3 Pro? Let me know in the comments below. So I better step out when I fly the... Okay, maybe I can use... I can use the tricky, 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 tricky. So I can just use this. I can use the trick. I need to clear the lamp here. <laughs> That's really good that I have the sensors. That will help me, and I can see it. So this is sneaky business. <laughs> so this is sneaky business. <laughs> so I can take off and land from uh, from the roadside inside the city or from my car here, and I can go up and do the, these panoramas and record videos and stuff. So that's super nice. So are you still on the fence buying the Mini 3 Pro? You should really consider it if you, this is your first drone because this is the most complete product with all the best features from all worlds with a lot of flexibility because of the soft 250 gram drones. In case you have decided to go for it, I put the purchase links in the description below. And uh, also, if you still need a little bit more convincing, I made a ton of videos around this drone, including this one, and I will add those to a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.